Hello Tubesters, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today we're looking at an update, well, sort of, uh, of the Ford 29 Roadster. Uh, after I received that really kind gift of Tom, which is actually just, I've just brought it out of the cabinet actually, just to use it as a reference. Uh, I really, you know, obviously got me pushed on to get my own 29 Roadster done, which, which, uh, you know, I'm just dead chuffed that that Tom did that particular uh, hot rod. Uh, I like hot rods, uh, and I like custom cars, but particularly uh, rods and customs. I love 1950s and 60s American cars uh, and pickup trucks. I uh, didn't like any of them <laughs> until I started making uh, models and started to obviously know old Tom, uh, Mr Rambler69, link will be in the description, uh, you know, Sean uh, from Scale Model Car Guy channel, Mike, Mike's Miniature Motors, Charlie Mack, uh, Joe uh, from Mad Genius Productions, who doesn't do as many now uh, as he used to, uh, but yeah, and lots of other people, I know I've, I've missed guys out, uh, the, the, there's a lot more of the, the guys that I've got into more um, known more in the last you know like few months uh, I, I, it was weird like that watching all the other guys first of all it was just they were really nice well-built models you know and I was just enjoying what they were doing and uh, obviously I decided to have a go at myself I did the is it Chevy Stepside pickup because I love pickup trucks and uh, that that I don't know what I was expecting really you know, first time out and uh, not being a particularly great model builder at the best of times. Uh, as I keep saying, the expectations in your head is that you're going to be like old Tom straight away. You know, hey, no worries. Uh, like Shamey, by the way, should have not, should have just that. See, this is the problem. You start mentioning people and then you forget people. But I'm talking about those guys that can really knock a car out of the park. You know, really, everything's just smooth, really smooth. And um, I just, you know, I just fancied doing it myself. Uh, and then I started getting into, uh, I was I was starting drifting in and out of, of um, getting more into, into like, uh, not 50s uh, rock, mu rock and roll music, uh, rockabilly music. Um, and obviously a lot of rods and that are in that culture and uh, yeah it's just it's just developed really and I end up watching a lot a lot of American car shows especially when they're in that like 4k um, it's, it's like you could drink in the color you know uh, well, it's not just the, first of all it was just the colors of the cars I just I'm a painter and I just really enjoy well, figure painting but you know I enjoy I enjoy all the colors in that but since then, I was only saying to old Tom on Instagram the other day, I was watching, I actually took a, like, a screenshot or whatever of the of what I was looking at. Uh, and uh, I said, I just can't believe I've just named that as a sunliner. <laughs> I mean, because it came on and went, ooh, sunliner. Yeah, uh, uh, particularly, I've also liked, um, I, I, I've, again, like uh, Chris, uh, as he crucifies everything, um, uh, he does a lot of like the muscle cars and stuff. Not always, but but you know a fair bit of muscle car. Uh, and uh, I, I've started enjoying enjoying those as well. Um, but I, I must admit, I really like 1950s uh, American cars going into the you know into the 60s. Uh, I love all the chrome, the, the huge bumpers. Um, the, the, the fantastic sometimes like the two-tone color jobs and I mean I know a lot of people obviously customize them and retro paint uh, not retro paint them, but you know paint them in their own style which I think is perfectly acceptable and this you know you're an absolute pur purist uh, so uh, some of the some of the pickups and that I see at the at the shows I, I love cab overs as well <laughs> list goes on doesn't it uh, Anybody that's not really got into this, I can absolutely understand. You ain't got a clue what I'm talking about because I didn't have a clue what I was talking about about two years, three years ago. Um, but yeah, I, I, 
more often than not, I've usually, I've usually got an American car show on, um, uh, or like rockabilly music with um, some some uh, pinups and uh, and rods. Not always in that order. <laughs> One moment. Right. It's only been a second for you, but I've just had to right faff around a dead battery uh, when the wife decided we were going to have a change around in the room. Uh, she never thought about the plugs, as in where I can reach them and stuff. Mm. Anyway, we'll go with this angle for the moment because we're going to go down to the bench in a second. I'm rambling, I know, that's what I do. Uh, but if you've got five minutes, why not sit back and let Gav ramble? Uh, so yeah, I, I've really got into it, and uh, yeah, I flip in and out, uh, and you know, I might do military subjects and, and stuff like because I'm military at, at heart. But I, I think I can't get going with. I haven't been able to get going with the automotive building only because uh, things aren't supposed to be easy. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to just do a. I want to do the best I can do, you know, and then build. Uh, build on it in increments if that makes sense but I don't want to do a, a half assed job you know I, it, that'll just turn me off um, which is why I, I can, oh, can't do this uh, and then uh, and obviously I've got obviously had problems so I tend to, I tend to get defeated real quick uh, but I know that if I can just knock out one that's I know that isn't going to be the best model in the world but it's going to be enough to get me happy enough to build the next one because I've got old Tom ages ago sent me a, a Studebaker pickup because he knows I love pickup trucks and um, I've held that back uh, because I wanted to do a tribute for old Tom um, and I didn't want to stuff it up so Tom that's why that's never been built I just obviously I get um, Oh, I can't do something and it doesn't get done <laughs> uh, but I've got so many plans for that uh, in fact I even wrote them down in a little book what I wanted to do and, and, and stuff um, so if I can push on with this it'll either be the Studebaker next or the uh, pickup truck or I've got a 32 Roadster and I've got the Model T, is it a rat rod? Remember the ones I bought from Telford? Well, I've got two, so I've got the 32 and I've got that one <laughs> to do. Um, but that one's supposed to be a bit harder, uh, so the lads were saying. So I'm, I'm going to probably do after the studio baker, do the 32. I, I tell you what, I keep looking now, I keep looking at the face, and I'm on pain of death. No more kits until kits are built. <laughs> because we, we really seriously do not have the room. And I also want to get on my Starfighter as well, but what I thought I'd do is I'd probably, uh, it's gonna be a killer, but run two together. Once I've cleared the decks of my other stuff, I, I need to get, so those go, those automotives ain't gonna get built until I've cleared the, the couple of bits. We've got the Lexington in one in 700 scale way up above my Ukrainian flag there. And um, that uh, is gonna be um, next coat of paint on a, in about an hour's time uh, because we're going down to the bench now I promise and uh, just I just wanted to show you off the bits uh, I don't know why uh, of the of the 29 uh, because nothing's been well they've all been done I've been polishing away well not polishing but you know like like sanding away as smooth as I can get the, as much light, mold lines out as possible old Tom's been um, giving me some uh, some advice and, and encouragement um, on the sidelines so uh, uh, and I'll just start, I don't think I ever showed you the colour I was going to paint uh, paint it so I'll go down quickly and have a look because I've probably used all your time up in the intro see you down at the bench right guys thanks for joining me down at the bench uh, apologise for the huge ramble that I've just done uh, that's what I do uh, I just wanted to show this one last time before we start getting the primer on and then I would imagine sanding down that afterwards I shall ask old Tom's advice after I've done that and uh, uh, and then start painting pieces <laughs> so uh, just another thank you I keep mentioning old Tom about 100 times uh, this needs to be cleaned off 
totally forgot to he'd sent me a new uh, windscreen frame and uh, my, mine was mine was bent to hell uh, just warped and uh, he sent me this uh, with a Christmas card uh, so I just and I'd completely forgot to blooming take that oh that's nice obviously it's been busted at some stage oh well we can we can talk, sort that out that's not going to be too much of a problem I guess as he hopefully um, now that's been fine so I imagine the bleach is a uh, as we can do an already weakened part I take it oh well uh, <laughs> we'll sort that out uh, so that's that uh, and then of course I found another piece uh, the rear diff that I hadn't actually uh, um, taken the the chrome off um, so that's got to be done as well uh, the, the paint I'm going to be painting it all in is a splash colour now you can't get splash in the UK now I did get these from premium hobbies and they don't you know I think they were just selling the range off by the look of it uh, they, had, they were having a big sale and um, there wasn't any other I bought three colours a green and a yellow I think they're both all slightly metallic uh, as you can see uh, but that's roughly that's shaking the bottle up for ages it's sunset beam so I thought we'd do that in this colour again I know it's not perfect I can't see the metallic in it but uh, do that in that colour uh, so like on this seat uh, I thought well like what Tom did his were like with the purple purple on the top and, and here so I thought maybe I'd either do I'm not sure yet whether to do this part in the sun in, in <laughs> we'll call it orange shall we <laughs> orange red whatever um, but but I'll either do that in that colour and black um, seats or vice versa with that being black in the middle maybe do that black in the middle I'm, I'm thinking and the same with the door cards um, as I call them uh, so what he's taught me is to cut that off as you know that's only one piece normally but cut it off and get it in glued in first so when I do my paint job it's all integral does that make sense it's there's not a change in it could be a change in paint well I did say to Tom <laughs> that's his top range painting skills which might might show a, a slight difference <laughs> my painting skills probably aren't going to notice any difference whatsoever if you had you know if you had a paint you know slight paint difference but yeah cut that down use one of those uh little razor short razor sh short razor saws um one of those flexible ones and uh that went fine so that again i thought i would Uh, paint that in the, the natural, well not natural, but that orange again. So we'll paint that, this, and then the black would be black leather, I'm calling it anyway. Um, that's the idea. I'm thinking black. Um, I did look at some of the complementary colours on my colour wheel, which uh, if you do the opposites to this, you can have more or less greens and blues. Uh, but I didn't really see where I was going to use that much anywhere else so I'm going to go with the black uh, I mean black will go with that nice I mean if you look at the colour on, on the on the top there I think that'll look okay so that's that um, I'm not sure I thought I'd leave the instrument bezel um, a chrome type, type uh, colour um, this is going to be really hard to mask off because it's in relief here but I thought maybe I'm not sure uh, that would be in the orangey colour again and then maybe just do these black or maybe do the whole maybe that might be a bit too hard for my masking skills um, but I do think you're doing that black just two black panels there just to keep the, a bit of you know I don't just want random blacking if that makes sense yeah so we've got our body 
Don't worry about the black. That was where Tom had told me mold lines, and yes, I had missed them. Uh, that was that was the last time I showed this. That was ages ago. But I've been back over again with uh, extra fine sandpaper, just cleaning stuff off. Built the engine up as much as I thought I wanted it for for the for that orange paintwork again. I'm thinking of doing this, including the sump and that everything orange uh, in that. But then oh, I haven't really got well. It's not going to show you bits, but you know what I mean, like the blower and that everything else. Uh, will be in, in the chrome or I thought of doing I've got like a, a gold not gold it's like a, a faded brass met, met, uh, brass metallic and I did think of either doing I'll show you but once I've done the priming and we know it's okay because I'm going to dig it out now but I'll show you I'm having second thoughts of maybe using this other colour um, for it but we'll, we'll have a look it's like a, a very light pale brass colour um, so that might be an idea but I think I might stick with the chrome let's not make things too hard Gav uh, the wheels I was trying to think of if there was a way I could that looks pretty hard to me to uh, mask the outside off there like have a have this an orange outside and a, and a metallic inside and a you know the chrome inside or the chrome inside and the orange in, in the middle I don't know I did think it's doing that um, but I think that might be a bit a step too far for my skills um, chassis there's not much to look at really I've put the cross beam in cross member uh, and that's going to be in the orange as well I'm not going to do the black chassis I did think of doing the black chassis but I think I'll do it all all in orange unify it uh, this will be in orange as well and then I thought uh, the diff that we've just shown you I'd do that in oh, I don't know maybe do that orange see again trying to mask trying to mask that off I might do it though. I might do this back plate uh, to the diff. I might might do what something in chrome, either that in chrome or the back uh, in chrome. I'm not 100% sure. And that's it really. So she's all, as far as I can tell. Oh, the other thing that I have kept as in part of the model are the shocks and the springs. Um, I know the guys do them out of wire and I was just thinking that's probably a step too far for me on my first attempt um, don't over complicate things so whereas I would have liked to have done like the guys do do the sorry about the sorry about that I have to have all the windows open because we're only just starting to drop off the odd degree now which is why I'm going to paint this afternoon uh, it's been baking up for the last four or five days so yeah I, d I did think of cutting all that away and putting my own spring on and I just thought you know for a first attempt at doing all this type of stuff it's probably a bridge too far um, so uh, I'm just gonna probably leave that all in chrome it'd be a shame I might do the oh I might have lost it completely now uh, I might do the top Have a, oh, this is why I wear an apron because it catches everything uh, yeah I, I could actually just to show William I could actually at least do that chrome and then just mask off the tops uh, well mask off the centre then and then do the tops in the orange that might look nice without me at least I've done something you know what I mean it's not just a hunk of plastic I have tried to remove the mould lines how successful you can't really see all the background clutter but how successful I've been I'm not too sure but I th the next one I do definitely I'm going to try the wire I just think uh, you know let's not do too much in one go <laughs> so uh, yeah it's all going to be primed in my usual AK uh, primer completely run out of grey I've got to get some in um, 
but uh, I'll pri I remember old Tom saying prime in white um, it's better for, for laying down the, the metallics I believe that's what he said but that was a while ago so yeah uh, that's about it really I'm, oh, I'm going to mount the distributor a la old Tom I'm going to try and mount the distributor on the bulkhead here I think people call it the firewall but I've always known them as bulkheads but uh, but yeah uh, I'll maybe do it on there uh, we'll see so that's it guys uh, I'm sorry to have waffled and gone around the houses oh I should have just said as well oh, let's get this out I've got them all in bags here uh, all the radiators and the fans and everything I thought I'd do in the orange as well just, just while I was thinking about it so I've not used splash paints before and as I say I'm stuffed now because I couldn't get any more <laughs> uh, to ship them from the US is absolutely horrendous uh, not, I looked at it and I thought whoa and I've even seen other people say there's not a chance so it's a shame they haven't got a UK dealer um, there's a I think there's a guy in the Netherlands and a guy in Spain but um, again now uh, importing that we're outside the EU now which I don't have a problem with uh, but I, um, you know, it's going to be costing them. Well, they won't even import them. I don't think actually. I think they actually say they won't import import into the UK. Um, so that we go with that one bottle and hope for the best. <laughs> what can possibly go wrong? Uh, so yeah, I've got that. I've got one in a, a Porsche green, I believe it is, uh, like a, a metallic green, which I was going to do the thirty-two in. And I've got a yellow which I was going to do the pickup in. Um, set myself up at least with three bottles. Uh, it's a shame because it, everyone's everyone says it's really good paint and it's not too. Uh, the problem I had when I used um, oh, I can't even what paint I used, but when I used it on the Chevy, it actually I was too heavy-handed with it. It actually melted parts of the or, or it, yeah, the, the the paint just went funny on the on the, the Chevy. So. Um, People said how good this stuff was, uh, but it's it's hard to get automotive paint. Hyro Boy do theirs. I'm saying that was the one that was used, and it's uh, you have to be a bit sparing with it. So people later told me, as in when you're putting it on. But again, as a newbie, you don't know any different really. But um, so uh, so yeah, I, I would have liked to have got more splash paint. It's a shame uh, if this stuff works okay. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to be import. There is a UK importer anymore, so. Anyway, I digress. So look after yourselves. Uh, I probably won't show this just in primer because it's white primer and I've just shown you bare plastic and I don't think you're going to see any difference. <laughs> so, so the next thing after this will be, I presume, bits of it in paint. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll catch up with this. Uh, I intend to keep pushing through with this uh, I'd like to. I'd like to really get a car done, um, and I'd like to sit it. I'd like to buy one of the plastic boxes that Tom sent me for his, and have you know mine sat next to Tom's uh, in the cabinet as they're both the same. You know, and I mean they'll be different. I'm doing different rims, obviously, and stuff. But uh, and I've got the blower on mine. But but yeah, just as a just as a bit of inspiration, really. Uh, and then, as I say, uh, when I've done that one probably do the Studebaker pickup you could I could go straight onto the 32 Roadster but um we'll see <laughs> you know what I'm like <laughs> I'm probably come hey look what I've bought guys Dodge Super B <laughs> or, or oh there was a there was a dragster now I'm not particularly into dragsters but what I do love is the 1950s uh, American uh, car scene and um I was watching some what I was working and painting figures and, and had it on in the background, but uh, some uh, uh, taking them around the drag strips in the 1950s and that, and that, oh, it's fantastic. You know, uh, they'd got one, somebody was selling one, and uh, it was only like about 25 quid. Uh, I can't remember, that's what it was, AMT or something. I'm, I'm not, no, it wasn't. Uh, Atlantic, Atlantic or Atlantis, something like that. Uh, and it just looked like those early drag ones uh, that I'd seen in, uh, in the like they're a you know like a frame one 
And um, I thought, yeah. And I thought, no, no. One, I ain't got the money. And two, she would, my wife would do that. <laughs> so, so uh, no, we'll we'll let that one go. We just hope that maybe one day one drifts past me again. I know what it's like. We all know what it's like. You will buy them because you say, oh, that won't, won't that won't won't come by way again. <laughs> then they, so yeah, well, doesn't matter. No, what what is is what is. So uh, anyway. Digressing again. Uh, videos coming up, totally on car related. We'll obviously have a update, which is getting some proper paint on, which is the USS Lexington uh, CV2. Uh, so just not confess, confuse it with CV6. Uh, and I've got uh, some epic uh, Napoleonic British uh, to show you on bottle tops as well. I think that's it. That's it. Look after yourselves. Uh, I will put a ramble up on the front of this one because uh, people are just going to think what the hell are we listening to uh, so uh, yeah when you see this would have some form of paint on it I would imagine or glue marks or something it would be a disaster one way or the other um, I've, got, I've, I've got a feeling uh, I've bought extra different types of grades of sandpaper I've got a lot of sanding to do on this with my paintwork we shall see Look after yourselves guys, thanks for sticking with this if you have, and we'll catch each other soon on another video.